live streamed, recorded. Okay, I think we're, we're good now. Okay. I will call the meeting to order and apologize for the delay, but unusual circumstances. So thank you for your patience. Uh, roll call, please. Mayor Canos? Here. Mr. Amelang? Here. Ms. Greenfield? Here. Ms. McCready? Here. Mr. McQueen? Here. Ms. Rivero is absent. Ms. Zamara is absent. Okay, <clears throat> notice of this meeting was provided to the Burnsville News and Courier News, filed with the municipal clerk and posted on the municipal bulletin board on December 15th, 2022. Um, we can stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I don't know if I have a flag. I don't have a flag. Anybody got a flag? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Uh, welcome to the June 26, 2023 meeting of the Burnsville Borough Council. This meeting is being conducted in person in the council chambers. Well, it's not in person, so sorry, I'm gonna change that. It's being conducted on Zoom and broadcast live on YouTube to make it as convenient as possible for residents to attend. Uh, those attending on Zoom will be given the opportunity to comment at appropriate times during the meeting in accordance with the following guidelines. Members of the public will be allowed to speak during the open sessions and during formal public hearings on the agenda, including public hearings on ordinances. Comments will be limited to three minutes per speaker, which will be monitored and enforced by the borough clerk. Comments containing offensive, profane, or indecent language or language constituting hate speech will not be permitted. <clears throat> remote participants will be muted unless they are unmuted by the clerk and remote participants will not be able to unmute themselves. The clerk will mute remote speakers at the expiration of their three minutes of allotted time or if they make any inappropriate or offensive comments. All speakers, whether uh, on Zoom, shall state their name and address before making their comments. Speakers should activate their cameras so that they can be seen by members of the governing body and audience. Failure of the governing body to provide a live broadcast of this meeting or technological problems encountered during the course of the meeting that affect remote viewing and or participation will not invalidate the meeting or any action taken, including but not limited to the adoption of any ordinance, resolution, or motion. All right, um, is Johanna here? She is. Uh, you wanted to talk about the uh, deer management, so I will let you do that. Can you unmute, Joe? I, I, I have to. I have to ask unmute. I have to reclaim my uh, the host first. So let me let me do that. Uh, so, and, uh, okay. She should be able to unmute now. There she goes. Okay. Yes, I can't uh, get video. Okay. All right, but uh, oh, good evening, everyone. Johanna Wissinger, Washington Corner Road. I'm speaking uh, for the Environmental Commission to, tonight um, uh, in regards to deer management. My uh, computer went down, so my nice, succinct notes uh, aren't with me, uh, but I'm sure I can do this. Um, I'm here to persuade the council to give their consent for a change of our deer management. Um, I uh, was introduced to Jim Emery uh, through uh, John um, Tom Janecki and um, had several emails, uh, exchanges, and then I was impressed with him that I had conversations by phone. Uh, I invited him to the Environmental Commission and he made a presentation, uh, answered our questions, and I uh, think I can fairly say that the members of the commission were equally uh, impressed. I have three uh, main reasons that I would like to share with you of why um, I think Jim Emery will be ideal for uh, Burnersville. Um, the first one is he has an understanding 
and um, appreciation for ecosystems. It's very important. In fact, the name of his agency is Sustainable Habitat so Solutions. So that's pretty good <laughs> for an environmentalist viewpoint. His um, partner is an environmental scientist. Um, so I'm very interested in balance. Uh, that was uh, our premise from the beginning uh, when the green team first uh, initiated a deer management program in 2011. Uh, and I was happy that um, Mr. Emery uh, uh, is willing. In fact, he suggested uh, to my great pleasure to do a um, deer, ma uh, deer inventory as a base, which is precisely what I would want. Um, I think these animals are beautiful. Uh, it's just that unfortunately, uh, because they were reintroduced, uh, their numbers are out of hand. Uh, I'm most concerned about the degradation of our forests. The second thing is uh, he has a good understanding of the most important safety measures. And um, I'm glad to hear that. I, the Environmental Commission is, uh, their goal is to have our trails being used well. And I know that the state for the licensing and permitting has um, you know, a lot of safety in place, but I, uh, if you approve my suggestion, I would like to, I will meet with, I'll arrange the meeting with um, police chief um, to uh, meet with myself and um, uh, Mr. Emery and uh, another environmental commission who will, will, will take on a uh, liaison for managing it. The third thing is he is a resident and uh, part of the community uh, the day he came to, the night he came to the environmental commission, he was off to um, uh, a coaching position that he was doing. So um, actually by his, because he is a resident that reinforces and enhances the first one, which is uh, a good ecological, uh, he will be on ground. He knows the areas, he knows our, um, our open space areas. So, uh, and the second one, it, it'd be easy to connect with um, the police and uh, the rest of the community. So. Um, so Hannah, can I ask oh, a question? Sure, sure. Yeah, I was going to open that to that. I just okay. want to say he, he does a food bank too. Uh, I mean, he's connected with a food bank. Um, so yeah, what's your question, uh, Mayor? He, this is, he is to replace who? Yes, he is to replace the um, Warren Blue Ridge um, uh, Sports Club. Uh, they have not responded uh, to our seek, you know, reaching out to them. I just suspect that they are not uh, particularly interested in uh, Burnsville. Um, so, um, yeah. So I will, if you sanction this, then I will. Uh, I will tell them an email. I'll send them an email explaining. So we're not under contract. Uh, it was just an agreement. And when Jack, do they? We, Jack, do we need to, to, to push a resolution for this, or is it a? Um... Something that isn't necessary. Yeah, we, we should certainly do a resolution setting forth the terms. You know, I'd pull up the old one that we did for the gun club. Um, so yeah, it shouldn't just be a motion saying, go ahead. But you know, we require insurance and, and things like that. Hold harmless. Okay, so so Anthony is helping me with that. And he, um, yeah, okay, whatever you, de you decide. Um, he's already, Submitted something, but Anthony uh, is requesting more. You know, but it was pending on what the council decided. Uh, I, I would be. Uh, I'll give a straw man. I'm. I'm fine. Um, in favor of Jim Memory and his group. Does he have a group? Yes. Okay. And it's and uh, it's a small group, which is my philosophy. The reason why I didn't I came to you the last time is I did not want it open to all state hunters. Um, and this is even a smaller group. My feeling is the smaller it is, the more we know them, the more control we have. Yeah, is there a time limit on when he needs to know? 
I don't think so. He did not express it. Um, he was coming to this meeting, but I don't see his name. But I mean, I, just wondering if we can have the agenda for the next meeting, if that would be, I mean, the resolution for the next agenda, would that be okay? Uh, sure, I wanted him to do that. Well, he might do that in the fall anyhow. Sure, what, whatever works out. And I did want to get, uh, since this is all new to me, um, this part of it, I, I know a lot about dear management, but um, the logistics this way, I, um, I wanted to make sure everything was set up before hunting, deer hunting season. Which yeah, that usually starts in the fall, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we'll have a resolution for the next meeting then. Okay. Great. Thank you, Johanna. Thanks for doing the uh, background work on that. Thank you. All right. We now have an open session. Oh, no, minutes. Sorry. Approval of minutes uh, from May 8th and May 22nd. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes from May 8th and May 22nd. I'll second that motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Uh, we now have an open session for items not listed for a public hearing. Um, and I already went through the please give your name and address. And if you can use the um, hand icon so we know if somebody wants to speak. And Anthony will keep track of your time. So would anyone like to be heard on any issue that's not already on for a public hearing? A lot of people here. Um, yeah. I'm scrolling through, and at the top, there's usually a, a little symbol that, yep. that shows how many people have their hand up, but I don't see anybody right now. No, I don't either. Um, and there's another session later. So maybe. Okay, then I will close the open session. Um, <clears throat> and I will open the public hearing on Ordinance 2023 1969. And salary ordinance for employees of the borough of Burnsville who are police dispatchers. Would anyone in the public like to be heard on this ordinance? I am not seeing any, so I will close the public hearing. Um, Gina, you wanna move that one? Uh, yes, I'm just getting the I was able to get in and open up the packet. Uh, okay, um, we are, this is- Number seven, uh, agenda. 1969. The, okay, here we go, sorry. Um, I moved to pass ordinance 2023-1969 on final reading and adopt as published. Second. Roll call, please. Mr. Ambling. Oh, you're muted, Jay. Yes. Okay. Ms. Greenfield? Yes. Ms. McCready? Yes. Mr. McQueen? Yes. All right. I will now open the public hearing on Ordinance 2023-1970, an ordinance amending salary ordinance 2023-1955. Would anyone in the public wish to be heard on this ordinance? It's just making a, a salary adjustment. Uh, not seeing any, so I will close the public hearing. Um, Jay, you want to do that one? Muted. Okay. I know it's so frustrating. Yeah, sorry. Um, I'm just looking for the. I'm, I'm missing it on my uh, sheet. Yeah. Um, I, I move to pass ordinance 2023-1970 on final reading and adopt as publish. Second. I'll second. Roll call. Mr. McQueen? Yes. Ms. McCready? Yes. Ms. Greenfield? Yes. Mr. Randallang? Yes. Uh, so on ordinance 2023-1971, we are gonna continue the public hearing um, to July 10th. Uh, mainly because we don't have enough voters, I guess, do we? That's yeah, right. we, do. That's majority. we don't have a quorum. Oh, no, we don't. It's yeah, because Jay, yeah. Jay, you um, Jay. abstain on this. Right. So, uh, Chad, you want to just move the to continue? 
1971 gives me angst. Do I have to? <laughs> yeah, I'll move to continue 2020 through 1971 to the um, what July. Is it, July 10th meeting okay. at 7 p.m. Yeah. Second. Second. That's just an all in favor, right? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? No. Okay. Ah, now I will open the public hearing on ordinance 2023-1972, appropriating the sum of $180,000 for various equipment and improvements. Um, this, by the way, is um, from the sewer department, so it's from their capital fund. Um, so anyone in the public wish to be heard on this ordinance? Seeing none, I will close the public hearing. Um, Diane, you want to do that one? I move to pass ordinance 2023-1972 on final reading and adopt as published. A second. Roll call, please. Mr. Ameling. You're muted. You're muted. <laughs> yes. Ms. Greenfield? Yes. Ms. McCready? Yes. Mr. McQueen? Yes. All right, uh, now we're into introduction of ordinances. Um, who wants to do that one, Chad? Yeah, I'll go ahead. I move the ordinance 2023-1973, appropriating the sum of 110,000 for water main extensions to WWTP, be introduced by title, passed on first reading, and published according to law, and that a public hearing be scheduled for a meeting beginning at 7 p.m. Monday, July 10th, 2023. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? All right. Um, Diane, why don't you move this one? You did a lot of work on this. I move that ordinance 2023-1974, uh, allowing non-family members to occupy detached accessory dwelling units in the R1 and R110 zones be introduced by title, passed on first reading, published according to law, and that a public hearing be scheduled for a meeting beginning at 7 o'clock p.m., Monday, August? Why August? I uh, think because it has to go through the planning board the cycle. Planning board. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. August 14, 2023. Oh, second. All right. I just got a text from Tim Richard. We are down to 1,800 customers out of power now. We were up at like 3,000. So JCPNL is making progress. And I, I guess thank you to the state and JC, JCPNL. I think the response was swift. I know, Mayor, you got immediate calls from the state. Um, so we're very thankful to have their support. Yeah, thank you. Um, moving on to resolutions. I was just making a voice vote on this. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I got carried away with this text I got from <laughs> Tim. Um, so all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, now resolutions 23-128 to 23-134. Any that you would like to discuss separately? I had a question on 23-133. Uh, was, was this a patrolman, was he, is he new? Yeah, uh, he was with his, within his uh, probationary period. Okay. All right. Anything else? Okay. Yeah. Who would like to move those? I'll do it. Resolutions okay. 20, uh, 23, 128 through 23, 134. I'll second. Roll call, please. Mr. McQueen? Yes. Ms. McCready? Yes. Ms. Greenfield? Uh, sorry, Ms. Greenfield? Yes. Mr. Ambeline? Yes. All right, moving on to reports. Uh, mayor's update on June 13th, I did go to Perth Amboy for the DEP grant announcements. Um, they have done an amazing job on their waterfront. I had not been there, so um, they didn't 
really announce who was getting the grants, but we were invited. So I assume we're getting a grant. Um, on the 14th, I uh, attended the league mini conference. Um, so did uh, Nancy. We sat in on a program on pilot agreements, which was really very informative and we made some good contacts and then a program on the changes in election law and what's going on with the November elections. On the 15th, Doug, Nancy and I met with Ashwin Barama. If you remember, he's the Winbush. This is the, um, actually he's a senior now. And that's interesting. It's telling me the meeting's ending in 10 minutes. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call Chris immediately. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, Ashwin, what, when he was a sophomore, started this project as kind of a special credit project uh, investigating these wind bushes, which are kind of a new form of electricity, um, started in France, and he raised the $25,000 for us to have one. We will be, I think, the only one on the East Coast so we were talking about where to put it and we were going to put it at the polo grounds, but thought it would be probably more likely to get vandalized there. So um, we've decided to do it at the new, you know, with Nervine Park after the dam is, is remediated. So um, right now we have it, it's in the pole barn. So we're looking forward to getting that done. A Ashwin is now, um, just graduated actually. So um, we'll be working with him to get that done. Um, so, what? So I, I see the inks in Anthony's eyes. Um, yeah. Anthony, pay the $14.99. Just put it on your credit card. <laughs> <laughs> and get will, reimbursed. <laughs> yeah, because to be honest, if, if we can't, shutting the meeting down and getting him back on a different link is not going to be possible. Yeah. Chris has dialed into my computer, so he's going to work on it. But yeah, I, I can. I can do um, it. Knowing Zoom the way I do, you guys are long. You are logged in through a free account. The only right. way you're going to get, you either have to shut down and log in through a different account, or you pay the fourteen ninety nine. Where, where, where do I do that though? I'll do it. But I don't, I, I, um, if you go into your account settings, okay. Do you want I'll, to make I'll, me? I'll go you, want, do it. you want to make me a host and see if I can help you? Sure. Yeah, we do not want that to happen. Okay, moving right along while you're working yeah. on that. Um, I did attend a mayor's wellness campaign data seminar in Hamilton Township. Um, very informative on how we collect can collect data to assess our community. I also attended on the 21st and 22nd, the New Jersey Planning and Redevelopment Conference. Uh, I attended a seminar on the fourth round obligations for affordable housing that are coming up. Hopefully, at least from the panel that I listened to, there will be more coordination among the courts and the towns and the counties. So hopefully it'll be uh, some improvements to how they calculate our obligation. Um, I also sat in on a, a keynote by uh, Jeff Otto on inflation, interest rate, and indicators of New Jersey's post-pandemic economy. And I sent you all kind of my summary notes because I thought it was really interesting what some of those trends are that he pointed out. Um, and also a program that was designing community-driven headquarters in live, work, play neighborhoods, which was about a project in Marstown. Valley Bank has moved their headquarters there. Um, and done a lot to improve the community. Mary Jane, can I interrupt you? I'm sorry, because we're going to time out here in about five yeah. minutes. Anthony, okay. in your in the Zoom where you guys started the conference, yeah. um, wherever you logged in, you must have logged in differently. So I can't access through the internet your web Zoom I, portal. I think I see something that says view my subscription. I might have to right. reclaim the host. It says it's been upgraded. Okay. okay. Upgraded. All okay. right. Okay. We're covered. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Perfect. <That> fun. <laughs> okay. Good. <laughs> so, you know that little timer that you show everybody? I just feel with it, with it on you for a change. Yeah. It's counting down. Yeah. Um, let's see. The 21st, um, 
actually Nancy and I attended a, a webinar by the Somerset County Business Partnership on impacting the employee experience through organizational clarity. Uh, we've been talking about different ways to uh, affect the culture of the borough. And then the, I attended the grand opening of the new offices for the New Jersey Conference of Mayors in Trenton. They are right across from the State House. So hopefully that will make uh, our lobbying a lot easier. And I don't know if you are brought it, but I can't show it to you. New Jersey Business Magazine. I don't know if you saw this, but we were featured. Really? See that? Yeah. Very nice little write up about us in the New Jersey Business Magazine. Um, so if you don't have one, I mean, you can see it online or you can get a copy from them. This is the magazine. So, yeah, and that was thanks to uh, Lucille Plumstead, who is the uh, Burnsville Center manager. She reached out and had them come out here and they were impressed. So good to know. All right. That's my report. Um, Nancy, do you have anything? I just have two things. Um, we just completed the well, well water testing um, kit yeah. sale and there were 24 takers. So. 24 people bought uh, test kits and are having their water tested by the Raritan headwaters. And our motor vehicle uh, mobile unit is still on July 22nd. There were a total of 50 open slots and there are 31 taken. So hmm. was that 19? Yeah. 19 left. Um so uh, people can go on our website and sign up. I don't believe you can pick a time anymore, but you can, um, people who are there for something that's other than the real ID, it's a first come first serve basis. So uh, there's room for 19 more people. So um, hopefully we'll have a full house. Yeah, great. Thank you. And thanks for uh, making that arrangement. I think people really appreciate having it be convenient like that. And yeah, it will and be at the again, train station. Right? It's at the train station, yeah. And it's from, um, I think, I don't have it in front of me, but I think it was 10 to 2. But it's on the front front page of our website. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, do I have a motion to accept department monthly reports? I no. move to accept department monthly reports. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Aye. Are we going to do committee reports? We're not there yet. Oh, sorry. Um, Jack, we have your report, so uh, nothing new. Okay, public safety. Okay. Uh, public safety met on uh, June 15th. Um, the Burrs Avenue sidewalk plan, public safety agrees with the sidewalk plan previously presented by Public Works. We feel that having the sidewalk go all the way to Mount Airy Road is the best option. Bernard's Ave is one of the busiest pedestrian seat, uh, streets in the borough, and pedestrian safety is the number one priority here. Uh, parking issues on Bernard's Avenue and the surrounding streets. The committee discussed the possibility of striping parking spaces to better organize the parking situation in the area for the residents. Uh, this issue was brought to Public Works. Uh, to overlay if and where this could possibly be accomplished. Uh, facility upgrades, uh, construction uh, is complete on a storage room that has been turned into a locker for female police officers. Uh, we will have one female officer starting later this year. Dispatch console, we are looking in, uh, at issues regarding our uh, police dispatch console center. The police department is obtaining estimates for replacement. And we will also be evaluating secondary backup systems and other potential options. Uh, we had a re resident request for better lighting at the state the safe street and Somerset Avenue and um, public works has been asked to look into what brighter lighting at this location would involve and they will be consulting with JCPNL on this issue. And that's it for public safety. All right. Any questions for anybody? No. Nope. Good. Okay. Uh, Other than Jay, everyone else is on public safety. <laughs> um, 
Thanks finance. For- I don't believe you've met, have you? No, we, we, did, we did not meet. And I guess I'll take this moment. Uh, super congratulations to, to Al. Yeah, for those that don't, Al last night had a baby boy. Arden Armando Ribeiro, I believe. Yes. Um, family is all doing well. So, yeah, exciting. Um, what are you up to? Uh, personnel has not met, um, but we have, we will be, we have an issue in um, executive that we will be talking about. Uh, public works. Uh, I could do public works if you want. Christine's not here. Yeah. There's Al. Um, Bernard's Avenue uh, sidewalk grant was submitted for $350,000. Um, the sidewalk project also does involve lighting. Chat, you should yeah. ask me that Good. question. Yep. Uh, dam remediation plans have been submitted to New Jersey DEP Dam Safety for review and approval. Uh, the pavilion at Polo Grounds, um, the architect is revising plans, removing the second floor. Uh, larger uh, restrooms and fixtures and finishes are being revised. Uh, the timeline for this, because Gina had asked, uh, utilities and water uh, sewer will be the first things to happen. Um, and uh, the last thing to happen um, for phase one will be the walking path. Um, Bernard's Avenue Roadway Project, the drainage is complete and they will starting the, the curbing, well, hopefully this week. Uh, the Bernard's Avenue Neighborhood Roadway Project, the drainage is complete and the work um, curb work is currently being finished up. Uh, West and Bolin Sidewalk uh, Engineering is nearly finished. Uh, the library roof replacement, architects are working on the design for the roof replacement and the time frame for this is September or October. And Campbell Road, the engineering is in process. There was a meeting um, at the end of May to identify additional drainage needs and areas in need of reconstruction versus just simple mill and pave. That's it for public works. Diane, did did uh, public works meet after we talked at safety? I'm wondering if yes. they agreed or if they had any suggestions of pushback on the striping suggestion from safety. Um, uh, the chief and Doug are gonna take a look at the, um, uh, the distances and see if it's possible. Uh, they, uh, the chief said they wanted to wait till after the road was finished. They're going to walk the streets. Um, okay. It's certain, it, it's not looking great, but they're going to measure everything out anyway. Um, All right. Yeah. But let's 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 put let's push engineering to a path to yes. <laughs> yeah, they they said they'd have to make probably have to make the streets a one way. Yeah, because yeah, they're, too, they're the just so narrow. Not have to take wide a look enough. at that yeah. inside some of the streets. That may not be a terrible idea either. Well, yeah, well, but you know. That's, yeah, it might work. You never know. That's why we have engineers figure this stuff out. Right? Um, any other land use we did not meet? Um, any other liaison reports? No, the um, planning board's meeting was canceled, um, I think two weeks ago. So yes, we have a meeting this Thursday. I haven't looked at the agenda yet. Um, I don't think we got it yet. Okay. That's why I didn't look at it, Mary Jane. <laughs> uh, Any other else have, I know it's only been two weeks since our last meeting, so probably most groups haven't met. Are we up to right. liaison reports or no? Hmm? Liaison reports we're up to? Yes. You have one? Yeah. Um, recreation met on June 13th. Uh, safety fencing was installed at the lower polo ball field. Uh, the trails committee subcommittee has been busy with cleanup at 267 Minebrook Road Trail. The committee continues to collect signatures to name that facility Kirkpatrick Park. Currently have over 160. If anyone would like to help or uh, sign it or help collect signatures, please let me know. A uh, special thanks to DPW for helping with trail maintenance at Peters Track Trail. The trail subcommittee will be working with recreation and DPW to come up with a more permanent solution to the issue of trail maintenance. Um, and it for recreation, uh, housing met on June 16th. The committee discussed uh, additional recommendations to approve the outdoor dining ordinance. Uh, I forwarded the recommendations to the mayor to distribute to the rest of council and to add to our agenda for discussion. Um, we also discussed uh, looking into whether our zoning ordinance section on warehouses need, needed to be revised. The committee will be researching other towns ordinances on this topic. 
and we discussed generator use and who would be in charge of recommending procedures that should be put in place for the construction of new apartment buildings so that they are prepared for emergency situations such as power. <laughs> And that never happens, Diane. No, of course. Never and age pack did not meet. I just got a very I got just got a very troubling picture. I know a lot of people, but there's a tree in the middle of Qantas that makes me very unhappy. How are we going to play baseball tomorrow? Oh, jeez. Come on. <laughs> okay. Moving on. Items of business. Um, the King of Kings food pantry. Um as you recall in the past, what we've done, they were in the field house, I believe, during the winter. And then last year, I believe they were in Ammerman in the nicer months. Uh, and I, they want to go back to Ammerman now. Is that what's going on, Anthony? Yes, they want to they resume Ammerman on Tuesdays from 3.30 to 4.30. Yeah. And that worked. I mean, especially there's no school buses or anything else going on. So um, are we all OK with that? I yeah. am, and, and nothing's moved to the planning board, so the yeah nothing's close. So yeah, and they've get gotten all their insurance things to you, right? You have all that. Yes, they're they're, they're getting you to hold harmless and uh, insurance. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if we could, um, there's always uh, we talk about a public safety about the um that crosswalk there. So if yeah. Anthony, if we can just tell you know the teams to you know, highlight the crosswalk and the use of the crosswalk so nobody gets hurt over there. Yeah, I know. A lot of people try and run across right at the parking lot, which is very dangerous. Yeah. So just use the crosswalks. They're there. That's what they're there for. <laughs> All right. Um do we we don't I don't think we had any official correspondence, did we? And no, unfinished no. business. Do we have unfinished anything? New business? There's a tree in the middle of Kiwanis. <laughs> That's new business, yes. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm joking because I, obviously I'm on the executive, um, the old executive uh, text thread. And yeah, everybody's trying to figure out how they can play baseball tomorrow. And I'm saying we have bigger problems in town. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, okay, so we are ready to go into closed session. Um, just, I don't know who wants to comment. Nancy, do you want to comment on these resolutions and where they stand right now? Because I don't want people to hang on forever. If we have a... I think we have another open, we have another open session. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, totally missed that. Okay, yeah. Um, so we have another open session. If anyone wants to comment on anything, raise your hand. I am scrolling. You seeing anything, Anthony? No, I don't see any hands raised. Um, Nope. All right. Um, so we'll close the public session. So back to these two um, resolutions, because we were going to go into executive session for a discussion on these two issues and then come back out um, to see whether or not we were going to move forward with any of them. Um, I don't think I think the uh, Ammerman one, we are not going to we're not finished with that. Is that correct, yeah, Nancy? Yes. Audi. It's Audi. I mean, Audi. 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 Um, yes. Right. Audi is going to be, uh, I guess, table to future meeting because the developer needs to continue to review the agreement. So they're not ready. OK. Um, I don't know if uh, I mean, you need to discuss. Uh, I guess Joe is going to executive with us. You need to discuss. Um, the developer asked for changes and you need to discuss them. I mean, my recommendation, I did talk to Jack about this since you don't have the full council that maybe mm. you did not vote on that tonight, but you know, that's your call. Okay. So, um, so we will be going into executive session. Um, I don't know if people want to, 
stay on. We will come back out. I, I just feel bad for the public having to sit there while we do, because we've got a number of things to go over. To be honest, Mayor, uh, Mayor it's easier that way. What? If I mean, they're on Zoom, so it, it's easier. They can multiply. Yeah, out. you can go have a cup of coffee, come watch a TV show and come back. Just leave your computer on. Um, so do I have a motion to go into executive it, session? Mayor, is it possible for us to talk about the items that are scheduled for the end of the meeting first so we can come back out if we're going to and then go back? Because I know there's several things on the exec session that we may not be coming back out for. So is it possible to kind of split it so that we can come back if, if I'm guessing there's some comments on those last two sections and I don't know how long exec's going to last. Well, uh, the last two, they, they just said Audi was not going to be. Yeah. We're not going to vote really. on that one. So it's 136 is off the table. So it would just be 135. And I'm, I'm kind of agreeing with Nancy that I don't, I think we should wait for the full council to be here in order to vote on this resolution. That would be my. Then we wouldn't come advice? back out if we're not voting on it. But. Anybody else agree with Gina? I do. Well, then obviously we couldn't vote because we wouldn't have enough votes. <laughs> right? Am I correct? Diane? It could be a 2 2 um, tie and you would have to break it, but. I think what Nancy recommended. I'm fine either way. I think I, it would yeah. be a good idea to wait for Al and Christine. But um, yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm I'm with Diane. I'm a little indifferent either way. I think we've talked about this a lot. Um, obviously, there's one issue that I think we need to discuss contractually. So I think it's worth having the discussion to see where yeah. we are. Um, yeah. But I'm fine delaying the vote if we want to. Okay. Because look, if we if we have to negotiate further i we should probably continue that process if we are not um going to vote on either one of those items then are we coming back out was there anything uh, we'll probably if we go to executive session we probably have to go back out to say that we're not going to going move back out yeah but you can make that you can make that determination now but you're not going to proceed pardon my voice Right, that's why I brought it up before we left. Because if yeah, we're not yeah. going to come back out, right. everybody we're, can just we could we could inform the public now. You just wouldn't have the option of coming back out and acting. To right, change your mind. Yes, yeah, but I don't think I, I I my the consensus I'm seeing here is that we don't want to act on this tonight. Correct. So yeah, we'll correct. put it off to the next, hopefully, uh, July tenth. 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 Yes. Yeah. So and, we'll be adjourning at the close of exec then. Right. So we will close after executive. So we will not be voting on this tonight. So thank you all for being here. Um, stay safe. I hope your power gets back. Uh, I know there's more rain predicted for tomorrow. So just be safe. And thank you. Do I have a motion for executive? I'll make the motion um, to move into executive. I'll second. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. I will stop the recording and then uh, shift some boxes, uh, except for the mayor, council, and attorney and administrator.